let's talk about the concert scene. Because for performers, it's important to go out and perform in public, right? Yeah. So, um, were there concerts going on in Taiwan last year? So, for all the activities, include concerts for musicians, of course, we locked down, we canceled. But only, I guess, from middle of February until middle of March. And then around, uh, around probably middle of June till now, all those concerts start as usual. Yep. Since June? Last year, yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> How did yeah. Taiwan? How did Taiwan do that? You know, in in America, the the COVID got so bad, and around Christmas, it it was the worst. It was the worst since since spring. You know, you mentioned about Christmas in America. That's the worst situation, right? But you know, just totally opposite from American. During Christmas season, all our activities. And all those musicians, they were so busy for concerts. You know, because of all their concerts was being canceled from middle of February until middle, middle of June. So they, they, you know, they stopped those concerts, but they postponed those concerts to end of the last year. So all those musicians, they were, you know, suddenly they were so busy because they have to play those concerts who must be canceled. So they put those concerts to around October till end of the last year. So during the Christmas season, all the musicians, they were so hectic for playing, performing for concerts. It's amazing, right? It's yeah. really amazing. Yeah, but the, I think the, the, the main reason was because, I don't know if you remember or not, a couple of years ago, um, in Asia, they took place a very, very serious virus named SARS. You I remember? remember SARS. Yeah, I was in Vienna. I was so worried <laughs> about my parents and I bought <laughs> masks and I, I shipped it to Taiwan. Because <laughs> I know it was so serious there. Really, really serious. Yeah, so because of the, the SARS, so Asian, Asian people include mainland China, include Korean, include Japan, Taiwan. Asian people, we were so you know so frightened about oh, because of uh, SARS. So after that, we really experienced the bad, the bad thing. So when we knew, we, the first the first news came to us about COVID nineteen last year. Oh, Asian people, we suddenly knew that we have to prepare a lot of masks and immediately we wear masks and then we wash our hands all the time so it really you know we really pre prevent from attack of COVID-19 so actually yeah Taiwan did very well and then it's truly really just like a miracle and we always say that Taiwan and American or Taiwan um, and Europe and India just like in a parallel world. I know. So, and also, I think uh, Asians are not afraid of wearing masks. Asian are, you know, they, they, they treat masks like normal. When I was little in Taiwan, you know, uh, when, when on the street, I would see people wearing masks and even, you know, uh, riding mopeds. Motorcycles, huh? It's it's so normal. So wearing masks, and when they want to prevent serious virus, everybody wear mask, huh? No one asks questions. No one think, well, yeah, I don't want to wear. But I noticed that, um, for example, in America, or I've heard people in Europe, yeah, they just they don't want to do that. Yeah, I remember that. About three years ago, I went to Europe for a month to, you know, just um, just travel and have vacation in Europe for a month. At the very first day, I was, you know, I got I got flu, and then you know, I asked my friend for mask that I want to protect myself and protect the others. But you know, my friend, they don't want me to wear the mask. 
they don't allow me to go to uh, to get any mask for myself because they told me that if you run, if you wear a mask, people will think that you are the terrorist. You are terrorist. <laughs> so you know, they don't allow me to wear it. Yeah, Three see? years ago, but now people, everybody have to learn. Yeah, I know. To mind. Yeah. I know, to wear masks. Yeah, yeah. I think American, um, you know, started too late. That's why it got so bad. Yeah, because people resisted to, you know, um, believe that this is real. Huh? It's real. Yeah, but they just ah, yeah, this is just uh, some sick it's people flu. in Asia. Yeah, well, flu. Uh, people get flu all the time in the past too. So no one really uh, took it seriously. So. That's why it got so bad. Yeah. Even now, I got the news maybe couple couple day, couple days ago. In Europe, people want to sue the government. People want to sue because they did feel that they they lose their freedom. People want to sue. They don't, they, they don't have freedom now. Yeah. But I I don't I don't understand that. Yeah. Even it was so serious, but people didn't really learn. Yeah, I'll rather be safe than sorry. Yeah, and mm. to pretend, you know, um, we try to do best we can, like online lessons, online classes, wearing masks. If you have to really go to to classroom, yeah. But we just try to survive, huh? Protect lives and to survive, and it will pass. You it, it will go away someday, huh? But yes. I just think now it's it's better to be more careful yeah so the concerts in taiwan of course um when they go in the recital hall everybody needs to wear masks right right after sauce experience mm -hmm. people have the concept in mind that if you feel not safe you just wear the mask mm -hmm. so we knew that if we go into public and then people gather together crowded of people we just wear masks of course do performers wear masks on stage? Yes, during COVID nineteen last year, yes, they the performers. Did. Oh yeah, and then, you know, and then, you know, a lot of very creative and colorful, beautiful masks <laughs> they must be produced. <laughs> and you know, my colleagues they go up to the stage and they were so proud that they, oh they wear the Christmas mask, we're gonna wear the beautiful, beautiful flower mask, and they enjoy of wearing that on the stage. <laughs> People are very creative. I even saw, um, you know, masks on a uh, runway, the fashion runway. Yeah, because masks now it's a thing. Yeah, it's it's reality. So yeah, why not, right? <laughs> well, of course, the singers, they have to do without mask, right? And the uh, brass uh, players, they probably they, they can't wear masks. Yeah, but I have seen brass instruments. They have shield in front of their faces or instruments because they cannot wear mouth mask. Yeah, that's very interesting. So um, the concerts in Taiwan, how huh, last year yet? Were there performers from? outside Taiwan that traveled to Taiwan? Of course not, but the very interesting was that those artists, they were, they are, um, their nationality is Taiwanese. They came back very early. Maybe some of them, they fly back and then stay in Taiwan, never come back to America or Europe. So, you know, they back to Taiwan, so they could remain their concerts in Taiwan. We don't have foreign artists from outside, uh -huh. but those Taiwanese artists, they all came back. Till now, until now, even until now. The Taiwanese performer that lived outside Taiwan, they came yes. back to Taiwan. Yes. Interesting. Yes, they are now living in Taiwan. So in America, a um, lot of you know, concerts were canceled, yeah? So in, in spring, we were thinking, okay, maybe in one month or two, uh, the virus will go away. But when it was April, 
nothing was better, so they canceled concerts for May. And then summer, okay, everybody was waiting, okay, maybe things will get better in fall. And fall started, and <laughs> nothing got better, situation was even worse. So um, they started to cancel um, the concert for the rest of 2020. A lot of virtual concerts and recitals were very popular. It started to become popular, of course. All people like to perform, yeah? And as, as we said, people are creative. So um, my husband, um, Bill, I know that he got some cases with orchestra pieces. So people will record their parts with their instrument at their homes and they send in the videos and my husband put them all together as one orchestra piece. It's very fascinating. But it's a big project. It well, is, no. yeah. Sometimes he will receive what? like, I don't know, 70 v uh, videos and oh. then put all together and then you can see on the screen, huh? It's one big orchestra. We have to appreciate those technology. Yeah, well, let's wow. just hope that the virus will go away soon so we can go back to normal, huh? Well, thank you so much for um, talking with us today. So guys, I love Jill's channel. Well, you need to know Chinese <laughs> in order to watch <laughs> Jill's videos. So if you can't speak Chinese yet, learn Chinese first and then go check out Jill's video. I promise you guys, Jill will be back. Yeah, we will talk soon. Yeah, well, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.